Hi everyone, it's me Paula and I'm here to do a project video share. Um, I created a mini album very similar to this one that I had shared um, a few weeks ago. And the one that I just created is on um, baby boy theme. And it's the same the same style as this one with the inserts and the pockets and all of that. But um, it's just a baby boy theme. And oh my gosh, you guys, let me tell you, I had such a hard time doing this mini because... I wanted to go crazy and add like embellishments and flowers and rhinestones and a lot of stuff but I couldn't because it's for a boy but um but I really like how it turned out I tried to make it as simple as possible and this is what I created and this is take two because the first video somehow the camera shifted and then it looks upside down so <laughs> so um this is what I created um I used this okay let me just start I used regular cardstock and it's by DCWV and it's the pastels. This one and the lady said um, any pastel colors but no pink, you know, or lavender because it's for a little boy. And this is what I created. I just covered the back and this here all in green, pretty like a pretty pastel green. Um, on the side I left it simple, it just says boy and I just used um, regular thickers and they're plain. They look like this, and I just put boy on the side to look like this. And then the back is the same as the front. I just added some of Nat's trim, and um, I punched some blue paper with this punch here. And I love using that punch. Um, this is what the top looks like. Um, as um, I left it like this, I didn't, you know, I didn't add so many thick embellishments on the inside. And she can add pictures, and it's gonna. You know, it's going to get bigger with all the pictures. So this is why I made it like this with half inch gussets. And I used the um, the Stack the Deck mini album tutorial. And I will try to leave um, her link below to how she does it. And for the cover, I just used this frame. And this is just from the dollar store. And I just removed the backing. And I added the hot glue all at the back. And then I added this little insert so she can add a photo here. And another one in the back so she could change, you know, the, the pictures around. That just slides back in and I created this little tab with my um, one inch circle. So she can, you know, easily pull it out. Um, I punched two hearts from regular craft paper and I added it here. And I went to Google and I searched, um, let me see if this is focusing, hopefully. And I searched on Google and I put like, you know, little baby boy pictures the theme the icons and that's what pop up and I just you know printed it out um two of my enamel dots here on the corners and I just handmade these um with pony beads on the on the oven I was gonna say microwave but I used the oven <laughs> so um this is what the inside looks like so here I have some of Nets trim and I added these two hearts and I popped them up so that to create a stopper because I didn't want the tags to you know to fall off and she doesn't um, scrapbook or craft or anything like that. So I left it very simple for her just to add pictures and journal on the back. Very simple. And that just tucks back in here. This page here, I left it simple. Just a really big photo mat. I added this dainty trim. And on each half, on each of the, um, the gussets, I added some of this Chinese braid trim in white. And here... What I did here to create this pocket was I just added um, double-sided tape just to the three corners and I left this one plain and open so that she can add another photo and she could journal as well. And um, that just tucks back in here. And on each page it has a big tag so she can add maybe two photos here, maybe more if they're you know, pocket size. She could journal in the back if she wanted. And hopefully this video doesn't flip on me because I'll be really mad. <laughs> so um, on this one here, I just um, did two places for her to add pictures of her son. Um, some of this blue trim that I had in my stash. On this one here, I added another 4x6 photo mat. I added some of this um, pastel green trim that I had in my stash. And a place for her to add the title. Maybe she could journal on the sides and on this page she can... She can journal as well. And another tag. Um, 
on this one what I did is I used regular craft paper and I um, backed it up this yellow paper I backed it up onto the craft paper to look like that I added an enamel dot here this that stamp came from this collection and it's by Fiskars and it's called baby that's what it's called and I bought this like two or three weeks ago and not even knowing that I was going to create a a baby boy themed album so that came in very handy um she also wanted me to add a few animals so I added here a giraffe and it's um it kind of matches the paper so I added it there this here says sweet baby and I just used my two inch scallop punch for that here I added this pretty wood flourish with a yellow um enamel dot I added the word love up here a sticker and a place for her to add pictures again more tags on each page and this album has six pages just in case you guys were wondering um, another place for her to add a date she can journal on the sides I made this pocket and again I punched I punched it you know to give it that decorative look here are more tags lots of tags for her to you know to journal and all of that um, this one what I did oh and I forgot to show I used this paper as well this is called on um, my baby by American crafts I used that and this little baby hippo page is so cute and here are more tags and I just created you know a side pocket on um, more tags here on this page here I just um, punched out two hearts out of regular craft paper a place for her to add a picture I added trim that's that page this page here is just like a waterfall um she can add pictures pictures of here here to all of them and she can journal if she wanted so a lot of space for pictures she could journal here here's a little stamp giraffe that I added this came from the paper collection just I just fussy cut that out another tag on the side um this page is very similar um the side pockets and then just tags so I added a bunch of tags like this and then I added two enamel dots to each corner of the page and then again the side pocket and then more tags the two enamel dots and then there's a another tag in here for pictures and then the back this one this page I left it like this um, I really love this trim Natalie has that in her shop I will leave her link down below and the lady can add a big picture here if she wanted I also added some of this trim here from that shop um, and then this here I wanted to show you guys how I created that I just used hopefully I can find it because I had it here yes. I have bought these butterflies a while back from the dollar store and they came out like in the package like this and the package is kind of like it has that that depth to it so the flowers so they don't squish so what I did is I just cut the package in half I glued it down and I added the trim around it to cover the hot glue and it creates this pocket if you guys can see that so I just added um, a sticker here it says Sun I added this trim here to kind of match this one and then on the inside I just added three tags I'll just take it out to show you guys I added these three tags and then this um, Irene, she has a, a tutorial on these paper clips. And I just did a little banner with a heart. And then the back says, Sweet Baby. And that just holds these in place. Let me see if I can hopefully put this back. So that just goes like this. That's so cute. I like that. Um, and then here is just for more pictures. It looks like this. Here's the giraffe page that's so cute and this one there's the banner page and then photo mat and then she could journal in the back and that just fits perfectly in here like this so um so yeah that's my my mini album guys um i hope you guys like it thank you all so much for watching have a very blessed day and i will talk to you guys later